Yo guys, what's up, dude? Like, honestly, this video is gonna be kind of a rant because the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and X came out today, right? Dope introduction, right? Everything was solid. I'm that Craig guy kind of messed up with a Face ID thing, so that was kind of funny. But me personally, right, I, I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm disappointed by the keynote because Apple, you know, brought out a lot of new stuff. They brought out wireless charging, the brand new X design. That, that thing looks super awesome. Better cameras, kind of, and a couple more features. Obviously, iOS 11 was officially released today. So expect iOS 11 updated videos on all these phones and other phones I have even this one I'm gonna update my success plus to iOS 11 soon so subscribe so you don't miss those videos so personally just to like to start off I personally think that the iPhone 8 plus design and the iPhone 8 design shouldn't have been exactly the same as the 7 pluses and the 6s obviously the 6 plus doesn't have the dual camera on the back but still I would rather have seen kind of a little bit more of a redesign obviously they have the glass back but I was expecting you know a little bit smaller bezels maybe without having to jump up another $400 because the starting price tag of the iPhone X is almost a thousand dollars. It's pretty much going to be over a thousand dollars once you include tax and all that. And in some countries it's already over a thousand. So I'm cool and all with like the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus's price. I mean, it's apparently only like $50 more than the iPhone 6 when that price came out. But the iPhone X, like if they're going to take away Touch ID, which is a huge thing, and if they're going to take away the home button and make it more gesture based, I feel like it shouldn't have costed that much more. And if they're already going to throw in an OLED display on the iPhone X, why couldn't they they do that with the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. Like it literally makes no sense because I mean, not to compare apples to oranges or whatever, but like I just want to take it back like a couple years ago, right? This is taking a throw. This is a throwback Thursday. Back when the OnePlus X came out, right? That was OnePlus's first attempt at an OLED phone, and that price of that phone was less than two hundred dollars. And tons of companies since then have produced phones with OLED panels, so there's no scarcity of OLED panels anywhere. They can supply OLED panels. Apple can get them so easily. They already did for the iPhone X, I don't understand why they didn't have OLED panels on the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. Because for users who want to retain the Touch ID and want to retain like the physical like look of an iPhone, I don't want to like have to jump up to having no Touch ID and having to, you know, no bezels or anything because <laughs> for me personally, I feel like there's a sweet spot with bezels. If, if you're going to take advantage of the bezels like the Nexus 6P did with the speakers on the front, then that's fine. But if you're going to go and remove all the bezels, I personally don't know how I feel about that. Like it's cool, but then on the same time like I kind of like like if I'm playing games in portrait or something I kind of like having something to hold on to on the sides without having to touch on the physical screen and instead of like holding it like this you know what I mean so that's that but there were some small things that kind of bugged me too like the megapixels on the camera are still the same actually these <laughs> iPhone 6s plus 7 plus and 8 plus all have the same megapixel count in the cameras now obviously the 8 plus camera is better but I did kind of want to see you know a little bit maybe like 14 megapixels or 15 megapixels megapixels aren't everything but I mean it would just be more of like a selling factor a little bit now the wireless charging is obviously one of the greatest features that Apple announced today and probably ever so you can just simply get a wireless charger and drop your phone on it and start charging that's awesome and sadly that was one of the most important features and one of my favorite features that iPhone said today and when Apple was even announcing I watched the whole keynote and they really didn't even hit the iPhone 8 plus that well because I already knew everyone already knew that they were gonna announce the bigger thing which is the iPhone X so they kind of just like bounced around the topic and stuff and on Honestly, I, I don't think, I mean, I'm going to get the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and X when they all come out. So stay tuned for those videos. Dude, I'm about to drop so many videos in the next coming like month. Because of the starting prices, the iPhone X is up there over $1,000. And you have the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, I believe, starting at $799 or $699, something like that. I'll correct it on the screen. So I don't know if I would like recommend those. I mean, the 7 Plus is an amazing phone. Even the 6S Plus, Apple's still selling the 6S, you know, and the 6S Plus. So you can get these. I think the, this price went up to $399. They went down to $399 or something I don't know I'll correct it on the screen if I'm wrong so I have a hard time justifying that the 7 plus is a like 200 300 you can get a 7 plus literally for like 400 bucks or 450 if you look hard enough so it's hard to justify like over twice the price for an iPhone X you know like it I mean it, there's literally no reason for that and with the iPhone 8 and 8 plus Yes, it's a better phone. If you need wireless charging, I guess you should go get that. But I don't think it's that big of a deal for me. I've had wireless charging phones before. My LG G2 right here actually was a wireless charging phone. I had the Nexus 5X, the Nexus 4, and I never even bought a wireless charger for them. You know, I just like, you just use, I just plugged it in. I could have bought a wireless charger if I wanted to, but it wasn't even that big of a deal. So I didn't even care, you know? Wireless charging is the least of my worries. It's like a luxury, you know? Obviously during the keynote, they're gonna hype it up. But for me personally, from my experience, your experience is gonna be different. I don't really see myself using 
wireless charging ever that much. So I'm not saying that the iPhone 8, 8 Plus X, all those things that they announced today, I'm not saying they're bad phones or they're horrible or it's dumb or whatever. I'm not saying that, but I, I am saying like with the price tag and everything factored into it, I, I think they're all right. I don't think they're like amazing or anything. The 7 and 7 Plus were better, I feel like. And they had like, they that's when they removed the headphone jack too. And that's when all those like memes and stuff were going around. So they're great phones. I don't know what everyone else is saying online, but, but I think if you're gonna talk about it in terms of price per like usage or price per like the value for your money, the 7 Plus is probably the way to go. Even if you, if you wanna go the used route, there's used 7 Pluses. They're gonna be dirt cheap. Well, not dirt cheap, but they're gonna be like a lot cheaper now. So guys, it's honestly up to you. This is kind of a little recap. I'm gonna be comparing every single iPhone that I have to the iPhone 8, 8 Plus and the X when those come out. So stay tuned for that. I might actually just have an updated video soon. I don't even know if I'm gonna do it for wait. So stay tuned for those. This was more of a rant. I do apologize. This is the first rant I ever had on this channel. So I don't know, like I feel really weird now. I feel like I like I'm like a new man or something. I don't know. But guys, if you're new to this channel, add me on all the social networks you see on the screen. I'm current on all of them. So just follow me, dude. You, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Like this video if you enjoyed it though. If you found out something you didn't know, my battery and my camera is about to die. So I'm talking quick. Comment if you guys have any questions or concerns or anything, I'll be happy to answer. But if you're really new here, subscribe to the channel, dude. Like I'm trying to hit 20,000 subscribers by this year. It's probably gonna happen. It's probably not. I don't know, dude. Just hit the subscribe button, dude. I'm, I gotta go because this battery's about to die. More importantly than everything else, guys, I love all of you guys, and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.